Well, I want to talk about an interesting radio that's just landed in the workshop. It's one I've never come across myself before. I mean, I've had lots of different radios <coughs> passing through. Never seen this one before. It's one of these NATO ones. I've had the NATO 2000, was it? Yeah, I've seen those before, but but this one I've ne never crossed my my little low workshop before. Um, here it is, NATO FM. It's looking very, very sick and poorly, I'm afraid. Not very well at all. Um, I mean, I've heard of barn finds, but this looks like it's been pulled out of the bottom of the uh, Shropshire Union Canal. As you can see, it's it's pretty pretty rusty at the top. This is exactly as it's arrived. Front panel again, looking very tatty. But it's a strange radio because it's got the CB2181 sticker on, 2781, to make you think it's legal. But of course there's no way it could be legal because it's got uh, 120 channels. Little switch here to select UK40 and then a couple of other 40s. I think it says US40 or something. I'm not quite sure. <coughs> I'll be able to tell when I get the dirt off it. If it ever works. But this is the challenge now. Is it going to work? Will it? Won't it? We'll find out. Bear with me. <coughs> Moving an aerial. Forever the optimist. Plug in an aerial. We'll plug in two external speakers. One in the CB and one in the PA. Simply because I don't know which is which. No way of telling. It's all badly, so filthy you can't read anything on it. Will it ever work? I don't know. Be a shame if it didn't. I happen to have a, a lead here to put in it. Not something else. Switch on. Unlike the blue touch paper. Squelch. Oh! Well, it's lighting up. We have something. That's good. On channel 20, UK, we'll key up. No power there. No power indicated on the watt meter, so it's not pushing out any power, but it's pushing out enough to be heard on the other CB radio that's in the room with us. But, but it's not even full strength on the radio across the room. <laughs> so it's, it's pushing out, but no modulation. No modulation, no indicator on the meter, and yet it is transmitting. Volume up, squelch. The squelch is just making some kind of click. So we're not hearing anything. We're not receiving anything. And on transmit it's not pushing out any poundage. Although it does key up. And if we key up the, uh, the other radio in the room here. It's, it's getting a, an S meter reading. So it's reading the radio across the room. But there's no audio. So it's receiving a signal but there's no audio. It's not transmitting at all and it's not transmitting any mod. So that's the state of play with it. But I shall uh, I shall do what I can with it because it's so unusual. It's a shame. It's a shame to uh, to just dump it. Because you're not going to see very many of these around. I think it's a, a bit of a collectible, collector's item. So that's it. A NATO, NATO FM.
watch this space and we'll see if we can uh, if we can actually get any anything out of it it uh, could go either way this it could uh, it could spring to life which is unlikely <laughs> but at least uh, at least something's lit to say we've got to uh, we've got a channel select knob working and we've got a meter working that actually reads okay well to be continued one day. This could end up as a 20 part series. Oh dear, what have I done to myself? Yeah. Not a barn find, a canal find. Hi guys, well this is just an update on what is going on with this here uh, NATO FM. <coughs> I've spent a lot of time on it now and uh, it <coughs> and it is starting to work. So if we put a, we've got it on channel 20, the UK ch channel 20 and we're going to give it here an S9 signal. And there we are. S9 signal FM and the radio is on the FM mode. Now we'll switch it to AM and we'll give it an S9 signal AM and there's an AM signal. We'll switch to FM mode now while receiving AM. Oh, we just had some kind of power failure then. The lights all went out. There we are, AM signal with the set on FM mode send it an FM signal so there it's receiving AM and FM fine at an S9 signal I've no idea how sensitive it is I've not checked it yet let's drop the signal down a little bit and let's see too bad that's uh oh yeah not too bad in sensitivity that's about a uh, hundred microvolts uh, no minus 100 dbs Let's check the chart oh so I can find it quite pleased I've got something working on it so far minus 100 dBs is two uh, two microvolts oh that's not bad not bad at all I, I've not actually done any tweaking or twiddling yet um, and I don't really intend to um, it's putting out power it's putting out the, the uh, 4 watts on transmit but there's no modulation at the moment so that's the state of play it's receiving AM it's receiving FM and receiving that's a couple of microvolts and it sounds quite healthy um, we could probably give it a tweak and a twiddle and improve on it um, we could drop it down a bit more and, and see what happens um, we turn the volume up a little. That's a squelch. Whoops, as you can hear, the volume control has had its, its day. Um, we'll drop it down to a, a, a more reasonable level. Oh, we've lost it pretty much. Um, but that's it. It's it's um, the case is very very rusty as you probably saw before. Um, the microphone is very very tatty. This is probably the reason it's got no modulation. It's probably the microphone with the the five pin dim plug. But I've not spent any more time on it yet, and I say I don't want to. I think I've spent enough time on it. I'm, I'm quite pleased that I've got it working considering there's no particular information anywhere about this model. 
we'll just uh, we'll just turn it over so you can see the inside so basically what we're looking at is a Midland 140M AM transceiver that's what it started life out as before they renamed it and rebadged it and called it it's NATO and you see how tatty that is no wonder the mic's not working they put this little board in here which has got I think about nine crystals nine crystals and trimmers to give you it actually has 120 channels AM 120 FM I don't know how it works out with all these crystals say nine crystals here plus a crystal there I don't know how they've done it I've not figured it out yet without a diagram but for me the major disappointment is the FM reception if we turn turn it to we are on FM to take the signal away take the signal away and as you hear the squelch is now open the volume is quite high we can probably turn it a bit lou louder can't we that's the volume full as you hear we put the signal on and you take the signal off and you don't get that almighty hiss that we expect with an FM radio when there's no signal when you drop the signal and the squelch is wide open and this is the major disappointment and this is why I'm not going any further with this rig um, because what they've done they've taken an AM rig and they've added an FM detector and the FM detector they fitted is on this little board here and it looks to me as if it's a very very old-fashioned method of detecting FM they're not using a limiter or not not much of a limiter to speak of bit of crackle from the volume you drop there turn it off um, you've got two coils and I suspect it's the old style of FM detection where you you tune one coil to the high frequency and one co coil to the low frequency end of the IF and then you had to balance it and set it up with a wobulator I last used a wobulator in the 1960s and I don't want to go back to using one I haven't got one I'm not going to get one it was just something that people had to have in the in the 60s with the very first FM broadcast style radios but that technology is long gone so I don't have the technology to balance the FM detector it has no limiter so it has no rejection of AM it's a really really poor design and so I don't think from my point of view it's not worth spending any time and effort on it because it will never be a top quality highly sensitive FM radio the FM feature is very much a compromise it will pick up strongest signals but it, well even the AM is not that sensitive really but it's alright um, so that's it it's working it's putting out 4 watts no mod but I strongly suspect the microphone it's receiving AM it's receiving FM um, Possibly with a tweak of the coils we could get the sensitivity up. I have no idea. But with the FM design, not having a limiter, just, uh, just having a discriminator, it's, uh, it's just a pointless, uh, pointless exercise. So that's it. The Maxcom, no, sorry, Comtron, Comtron NATO FM. 120 channels AM and FM.